Okay, so I'm back with another book haul. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for today, I'm back in my corner once again. I'm going to call this my corner of shame slash my corner of gifts because I received a lot of books from publishers this month as well as a lot of books that I did purchase myself for this book haul. I'm not going to call it my official September book haul because I'm going to be actually focusing on books that I bought from eBay once again. So yes, more eBay orders are coming in and for some reason I just keep finding lots that I really, really want because there are lots from authors that I really want to read or have read before and I really like or the editions are just really special and I just want to own them because of the back covers and also the step backs so hopefully you guys will enjoy this very quick eBay book haul part one so once again it's not going to go into any particular orders I'm just going to grab random books off my pal and just show it to you guys so the first book that I purchased is actually not from eBay and it's actually from Valley Village so if you haven't seen my Valley Village haul yet I did explain a little bit more about Valley Village that is available in Canada it's just a thrift shop this book is called Once an Angel by Teresa Medeiros and now this book is pretty plain in cover but I was really attracted to the step back of this book. I know nothing about this book except for the fact that I think she's kind of lost at sea and then that's why she's laying on sand. It's a double page color step back which I really appreciate and enjoy. When I went to Valley Village that day to pick up some books and to also donate some books um, I was actually I didn't see any authors that I particularly really wanted to buy but I was looking at step backs and I saw really beautiful ones but I also told myself that I shouldn't be buying books based Based on setbacks or covers but I should be buying it because of the author or because of synopsis like normal people do. So the second book that I picked up is actually a book that I've been hunting for on eBay for a very long time. So in this haul I'm going to show a lot of Kathy Maxwell books and it's because I really enjoy Kathy Maxwell's stepbacks and also back covers. So if you guys aren't aware yet definitely go check out Kathy Maxwell's older titles because their stepbacks are gorgeous. And um, this book is called When Dreams Come True so it's very basic. And and there's no step back for this one but they do have a beautiful back cover so now you guys can kind of see why I was hunting down for it because I just really love the fact that she's kind of wearing a white wedding dress and she's being swooped up in like a bridal carry style by the main male hero then the next book that I picked up is actually not from eBay or from Valley Village this one's actually from Amazon marketplace I purchased this one because it was available there it was only seven dollars and the reason why I purchased it is because Olivia Parker is actually a very lesser known historical romance author and she writes really good historical romance books. I read one book from her and I was captivated by her writing and she sadly has like a very small writing career. She only has written three historical romances so far and I don't think she has published any works before so this is kind of like her one series that she wrote. Um, this one I already own a ebook copy of it. So the next stack of books is actually part of one lot that I purchased from an eBay seller. So this one is the Elizabeth Boyle lot. So I really really like like the back covers of this series. I don't know what the series is called but um, I saw it on Goodreads and I went on an eBay search for it because I want to own it. So this one's called Stealing the Bride and then the back cover of this is so beautiful. So she's wearing a bridal dress, she's ready to get married and then I guess she gets stolen. Then we have this rake of mine. So this one has no step back once again but it does have a beautiful back cover like this one. So it's nice and orange and nice and warm. Then we have a copy of Love Letters from a Duke. I think I already own a copy of this book but I'm not sure if I have a step back of this one but this one is very beautiful too. I feel like red step backs are most captivating and gorgeous. Then I have a very kind of basic boring historical romance cover called Something About Emmeline and then afterwards it just kind of looks plain and basic until you flip to the back cover of this one. So like I said in all my eBay book hauls my friends are collecting a lot of step backs and I am collecting them too but I find that back covers are just more special because it's like I don't know it's something that nobody really talks about. And then this one is called One Night of Passion. So like I said again, I really like the back covers of this one. This one is my favorite back cover from Elizabeth Boyle and you'll soon see why. So it's nighttime, they're on staircases and her dress is falling off and it's gold accented. So the next lot that I have to show you is just a four buck lot that I purchased because I want to collect more of Laura Lee Girk's novels because her synopsises sound amazing and super cute. So the first one I have is No Mistress of Mine. I'm actually not sure if I have a copy of this 
this book yet but hopefully I don't but it has a very beautiful purple and blue step back like this one then the next step back that I have to show you well it's not actually a step back it's a back cover but I absolutely have to show you this one because it's adorable it's called she's no princess and when I showed this book on my Instagram a lot of my followers actually commented and told me that this book was super cute and one of their favorites so I'm super excited and this is actually the back cover so they're in a garden it's pink and she's actually holding a princess tiara then we have another book called when the Mar marquee met his match so I think somebody corrected my pronunciation of Marquess or Marcus in the comments down sections down below and unfortunately I don't remember how to say it properly because I'm an idiot. Um, so I actually already own a copy of this book but I own the library edition of it so it was pretty damaged so that's why I'm okay with getting a duplicate copy and then it's a beautiful red step back like this one. And then the last book that I got from that lot is Scandal of the Year so this lot had a lot of step backs so I was very fortunate to get it. And it's this beautiful red cover here as well. So Laura Lee's books are once again super cute or they sound super cute and I'm super excited to read them. I own fair quite amount of books of hers on my shelf and she's one of the authors that I do want to try. So the next few books that I purchased were just random books that came into a lot. So this one is by Kieran Kramer and I have two of her books already on my shelf that I'm excited to read. This one's called Loving Lady Marcia and it has no step back and no back cover and it's fairly new condition. There's only like one crease in it. The next book that I purchased is also from Kieran Kramer and it's part of the same lot. This one's called Dukes to the Left of Me, Princess to the Right. So um, this book or this series I would like to say has really cute names and it has names that play on fairy tale titles or titles that you would normally here and it's really cool and I think this actress or like I think this model is the girl that's always featured on a lot of historical romances and she's dubbed as like the female Fabio. Then the next book is If You Give a Girl a Viscount and it's by Kieran Kramer again so this one is I think it's going to be a play on the title of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie which is a very popular children's novels um storybook so if you guys heard about it that book then you would know that this title sounds kind of familiar to it. Then I actually have another Laura Lee Girk novel that I never showed you guys. This one's called How to Lose a Duke in 10 Days kind of like based on the movie and it has a really beautiful cover as well. So for the next stack of books I'm not sure if I actually showed you the stack of books before so I'm going to quickly go through it just in case I did show you. Um, it's still in my pile of books so I assume I didn't show you but it's a Lewis Grayman lot. Um, it's just a random lot that I purchased because it had highlighters and if I if you guys are new to the channel recently started reading about highlighters obsessed with them and I want to collect them all. So this one is called The Freezer Bride. This one has no step back and no back cover. Kind of boring but the cover is nice because it's plaid. Plaid's always cool. Then we have this other Lewis Grayman book called Highland Hawk and I like the border of the plaid of this. I think it's part of the series of Highland Brides and that's how they distinguish that this book is part of the series. Unfortunately it has no step back and no back cover. Then I have another Lewis Grayman book called Taming the Barbarian and now this one I'm very pleased to say that this one actually has a gorgeous back cover like this one so it's very pretty. I really appreciate it. I showed this lot on my Instagram page and my friend Jessica from Peace Love Books actually saw the lot and she actually bought some of, of Lewis Grayman's books too because of my influence. Um, this one is called Bewitching the Highlander and it also has a very gorgeous um, back cover. I really like the night theme ones because I don't know it's just always so mysterious with like a moon and a very dark background. The next one that I have right here is Highland Jewel and unfortunately it does not have a step back or a back cover but the cover is nice and vintage and very pretty. The next book that I have to show you is The Lady and the Knight. So once again it's part of the Highland Bride series with the distinguishing border of this one. I really like the artwork of this cover and there is no back cover and no step back. Another one that I have to show you is The Warrior Bride. It has the nice plaid cover on it and it doesn't have a back cover and it's very great condition. And the last one that in part of that lot that I got is Tempting the Wolf and it's like 
the same style with the abs and everything and then the back cover is gorgeous and very pretty i'm sure i have more karen reaney books to show you but this is just a stack of books that i have right now that are that is close to me and i just realized that they all have like the plaid spines to show you that they're part of the same series i believe so that's pretty cool so this one is part of like a highland series once again and karen reaney is kind of like a problematic author because of some things that she did say on the internet that was hurtful to particularly my race um so unfortunately i have some of her books but also i'm collecting them from ebay so technically she's not getting money from me anymore and also because she recently passed away this year so the money that does get generated isn't actually directly going to her it's actually going to her estate so hopefully her family is less opinionated than her if you guys want to know more about that drama just search it up and you'll read about it but um here i have when the lard returns and then um i wanted to collect this series not because of the author because i actually haven't read a book by her but because the artists who designed the covers are very super talented and unfortunately I just went to her so this is a very beautiful back cover once again it's the night theme that I really appreciate and I really like then the next one that I have from her is to love a Scottish Lord and it's also this gorgeous back cover so I really really like this one and that's why I really wanted to buy this lot because they're on a boat and it's in the middle of the night so really I'm not celebrating the author's work and I'm more of celebrating and appreciating the cover artist's work then the next book that I have is the irresistible Macray and boring cover once again the back cover is gorgeous then we have the Scottish companion so it looks kind of plain like this but do not be fooled because the back covers are always so gorgeous like I love this one and then the last one that I have near me is one man's love and then are we surprised because no we shouldn't be because the back cover of this one gorgeous once again so really once again I'm celebrating Avon Romance's cover artists and the artists that put so much work into these back covers so speaking of very pretty back covers right now next to me I just have two Sabrina Jeffries books that I really want to show off so I've been trying to collect a lot of Sabrina Jeffries books because I found out that her back covers for her vintage covers are really really pretty so I wanted to just quickly show you guys so this one is called Dance of Seduction and it's like this emerald green but wait for it gorgeous they're lying on like a chaise and like they're just embracing each other then the next one is also one of my favorites this one's called the dangerous lord and they are on a balcony surrounded by flowers and in the middle of the night so you guys can already tell that i'm really attracted to the night scene so continuing on with my sabrina jeffries i'm going to talk about the sabrina jeffries lot that i actually picked up as well the seller was super nice to me and it was very really cheap like she sold like me nine books or something for only seven dollars usd and the only thing that i had to pay a lot of was for shipping so overall the total was pretty fair for the amount of books that I got but the two books that I really really wanted to collect were also I think a part of the same series I just showed you so this one's called a notorious love and the back the back is very nice and it has a horse but this is not my favorite this is not my favorite back cover because the dangerous lord was my favorite right but this one called after this abduction they're in the middle of a forest with snow. I just, I just can't. I just really love this one. And I showed Jessica from PSL Books and she was like very jealous or like she really wanted one. And she ended up buying a copy too. So yay for us for having the same copies of books so we could fangirl together. So then I also have like some random Sabrina Jeffries books that I collected from in that lot. So One Night with the Prince is already a book that I own, but, um, that one I didn't have a step back to it so I'm gonna keep this one with the step back and I'm gonna try to sell the other one that I have already and then I have this one called when the rogue returns it doesn't have a step back or a back cover so it's kind of boring and then I have another one called what the duke desires doesn't have a step back doesn't have a back cover kind of boring once again and then Sabrina Jeffries, How to Woo a Reluctant Lady, doesn't have a step back, doesn't have a back cover. And then I got a few randoms here that were a part of the lot. I think I already have this Victoria Alexander novel called Her Highness My Wife. And it's one of those peekaboo covers where the step back is gorgeous and it just has a hole so that you can see whatever that thing is. Then I have a Amanda Quick historical romance novel that um, I don't really care for because like look at the step back. Kind of boring. 
and it's just uh, a matted quick's face on the back of that one and then i have another sabrina jeffries a helion in her bed and this one unfortunately also doesn't have a step back or a back cover so the next few books that i'm going to show you are actually from authors that i've seen before but i haven't read um so well I'm going to start off with a very popular historical romance author that I do own books of hers on my shelf already and I didn't realize I didn't have these two books but my friend from Malaysia actually recommended me this series from like five years ago I just never got to read it so this one is called 11 scandals to start to win a duke's heart Jesus I don't know how to read it anymore it's by Sarah McLean and she is basically one of the romance queens on Twitter because she says a lot of things that are very important for the community to learn about and then it has a beautiful two-page step back like this um my friend Lacey told me that she didn't know that these books have step backs and i just assumed they never had step backs either but i guess they do this one's called nine rules to break when romancing a rake and then this one i'm very lucky enough to also have a gorgeous two-page step back and the other book that I'm missing from this because this one's a trilogy and I already own on my shelves I have that one as a step back too so now my whole trilogy has step backs which I'm very proud of and I accidentally collected. The next few books are authors that I've seen before I've looked at before but I haven't read before so this one's Anne Mallory and then this one's called One Night is Never Enough. Unfortunately this one does not have a step back or a back cover but the cover is nice. Then I really like the older covers of Anne Mallory's books. So this one's called Daring the Duke and it's just like in the middle of the night. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Back covers like this. Very good condition. This one's also one of my favorite covers from Anne Mallory too as well. This one's called The Viscount's Wicked Ways and then the back has nothing. And then the other one we have is Seven Secrets of Seduction. So pretty red cover as well and then the back is just boring no step back so I think these are the last two Anne Mallory books that I got this one's called Three Nights of Sin and no step back and no back cover as well for some odd reason I accidentally collected an Anne Mallory lot so this is why I have so many so this one's called What Isabella Desires and I think this is the last one that I have to show you from this author then we have three randoms from this one author that I never heard of before but I've seen before. This one's called Too Wicked to Love. No step back, no back cover to this one. Very good condition. And then we have Tempting a Proper Lady. And then this one also doesn't have a step back or a back cover as well. But then this one I really want to draw attention to because I really like the cover of this one. This one's called A Necessary Bride and it has the older historical romance like art style that I like. And then finally I have To Ruin the Duke by Deborah Mullins again. So this one doesn't have a step back but then we do have a back cover of this one. It's kind of weird because her dress is clearly not this long but they made it this long so you can tell it's photoshopped so I don't know. Then I have two Johanna Lindsay novels to finally like kind of collect my old Johanna Lindsay covers that everybody has. So this one's called A Gentle Feuding and this one's called Brave the Wild wind and then I really like this one because I'm a fan of like greens on my covers and then this one's pretty cool too because she's like embracing him so passionately um one day I'll actually read all my Johanna Lindsay covers um I don't know why but when I first jumped on to buying books on eBay I was just so obsessed with collecting Johanna Lindsay's older covers because all my friends had them and also my Instagram friends had them so I want to be part of the crew but now that I have them yeah okay so I just have a quick few more randoms and then I'm going to show you all my Kathy Maxwell step backs that I freaking adore so this is like the like the reason why I wanted to film the video is so that I can show you guys Kathy Maxwell but before that let's show you Loretta Chase Standal Wear Satin and beautiful cover like this one and then afterwards my friend on bookstagram actually told me that this series was actually really good and she's disappointed in herself that she never started it earlier then we have a Eloisa James book called Duchess by Night and then the step back is beautiful too as well. But Eloisa is an author that I want to try but I've read one book by her and I was kind of bored by it so now I'm scared. And then we have two Catherine Smith novels. This one's called When Seducing a Duke and this one's called When Tempting a Bride. So beautiful covers, no step backs and no back covers. And the last one that is a random that I have to show you is Sabrina Jeffries' The Truth About Lord Stoneville and no step back and no back covers. Kind of disappointed that Simon Schuster historical romances don't have the extra production value. So for the last part of this lot, 
for so for the last part of this haul i'm going to show you the lots that was kind of like my most anticipated lots that i bought from ebay for the past month and they were kathy maxwell and a lot of my friends actually don't really care about kathy maxwell but then afterwards like she's kind of like a author that is popular because she wrote a lot of books but like we never really read any of her books and then one day i went on goodreads and i found out that kathy maxwell had a really pretty setback so i searched for it on ebay and then i found kathy maxwell lots for cheap and they had all these books and then i did my research on goodreads and i found out that all of them have really pretty step backs so i'm really excited to show you guys so this one is just a random one that i picked up from the pile of books on the floor right now but this one's called leon's bride and then beautiful like beautiful it's like zoomed in too as well and like i said i really like it when it's zoomed in so i could see the characters expressions and their clothes this one is called betting the heiress beautiful white cover very simplistic then we have the marriage ring zoomed in once again gorgeous i love it then we have temptation of a proper governess i love this like i love this two-page color step back it's gorgeous it's in a garden it's beautiful then we have his christmas pleasure beautiful red one gorgeous then we have the earl claims his wife so don't worry about these stickers because i'm going to probably use a hair dryer to remove the stickers so i'm not too phased about it beautiful step back though beautiful and then this one is like a part of that series i showed you from the first book that i showed you in the kathy maxwell lot and this one is called because of you so pretty and then this one just doesn't have a step back because this one's a newer edition but this one's called falling in love again and then this one also doesn't have a step back as well and this one's called all things beautiful this one is called the highlander's bed i really like the red ones the red ones are very sexy and then this one's called the scottish witch pretty very pretty this one's called the wedding wager and i believe this one's also one of my favorites two page color step backs green in the garden florals there's a horse love it this one is called the devil's heart so pretty double page step backs i really like them this one is called the lady is tempted so pretty okay so i want to point out that she got assets and i like it this one is called a seduction at christmas very pretty so i feel like i should be doing like a christmas readathon so that i could read all my christmas novels this one's called in bed with a duke i love this one it's red it's gorgeous there's roses everywhere love it and i think that is it for all my kathy maxwell books unless i miss some so i'm going to quickly show you some tracy and warren books that i completely forgot that i had um i swear i had more than this but you know what i'm just going to show you what's near me this one's called at the duke's pleasure beautiful so tracy ann warren is an author that a lot of people in my comments has told me that i should check out and read this one's a double page step back beautiful once again this one's called wicked delights of a bridal bed and then this last one that i have to show you is very disappointing but this one's called her highness and the highlander look how disappointing this one is it's like they forgot the models on that step back so I think this is it for all my eBay books that I want to just show you and update you guys. So I have a lot of Kathy Maxwell's now, Elizabeth Boyle, and also Sabrina Jeffries. Those are the three authors that I'm kind of collecting and looking towards um, owning them. Karen Rainey is an author that I have a lot of her books now and her back covers are really pretty and there are some that I still have to show you but they're coming in the mail. So hopefully you guys can appreciate the back covers and the step backs as much as I do because I really like when I make these haul videos, they are are just to show appreciation towards the work that is put into these books and um, obviously I'm not really talking about the author's works and I'm not talking about if the books are good or not because I'm not even saying the synopsis but this video is clearly made to appreciate books in general so hopefully you guys still enjoy it but until next time I'll see you guys again bye <music>